now moving to next topic how gnit is working so i'm going to show you for that i'm creating a new project so i'm project like gnit working and here in this project i'm going to create a package with the name testing and here i'm going to create a class with the name tc001 here we have a class as we know whatever the code we want to write in java we need to create method for it so i'm writing public void my met and whatever the code whatever the test case code you want to write you can write it over here as of now i'm just writing a system.out.println this is for test case code now we have a project package and a class we do not have main method so if we try to execute it it asks for do you want to execute as a java yes it gives the error you do not have main method you cannot execute so as we know if you don't want to go for the main method we can still execute our test case by using any unit testing tool in this session we are going to understand JUnit which is a unit testing tool so how JUnit is going to execute this method whatever the method you want to execute you can write at the rate test over it here it shows like what is this test it is not going to understand what is this test so click on this error and it is asking for you want to add JUnit for libraries yes and everything is fine now if you execute this it asks for JUnit or test ng we did not cover test ng till now we are just going to select and it executed my method so here we have seen my JUnit does not understand this method JUnit only understand this annotation this is called annotation whenever we execute by JUnit JUnit search for annotation and by default first it search for the test annotation so here we have a test annotation it execute this method if you remove this annotation and then try to execute JUnit will not be able to execute reason because JUnit does not understand the method until there is no annotation so here you can see zero execution because JUnit did not find its annotation so whenever we want to execute our method in which your test case is placed over the method you can write at the rate test annotation now here we have one method it might be possible you want to execute some code before your test case so method in which your test case is written you need to write test annotation over it and if you have any method which you want to execute before the test case so here public void be met and system.out.println this is for before test case execution if you want to execute any method before your test case is going to execute for that method over that method you can write annotation that is before annotation so second annotation i'm using before before method is going to execute before the test case and whatever the code you want to execute after your test case you can create one more method after method you can give any name to the method i'm just giving simple names and we can use annotation which is at the rate after so now we have three methods and all the methods are having its annotation so method in which you are going to test case you will use test annotation method in which you are going to write whatever the code you want to execute before the test case like i can take an example you want to start your browser before the test case execution so you will write browser starting code in this before annotation after the test case execution you want to close the browser 
so browser close code you, you are going to write in the after annotation as of now just i'm printing something on the console so this is for after test case execution i'm just running it so here we can see first it executes before annotation method then test case and then after annotation method so when we execute by using JUnit, JUnit first search, do we have test annotation or not? If we do not have test annotation, it's not going to execute. I have removed this test annotation. I'm trying to execute. Here it shows nothing is executed because test annotation is mandatory. If there is a test annotation, it search for before annotation. If it found before annotation, first it's going to execute before annotation, then test, and after the test, it's going to execute after. Only test annotation is mandatory. So if you remove this before and after, it will search for the test annotation. Yes, we do have. Do we have before or after? No, we don't have. So it will directly execute test. So whenever we execute it by JUnit, JUnit search for the test annotation. If found, then go for next searching. If not found, then break it from here. If test annotation is found, it search for the before. If before is there, first it execute before, then test and, and at the end, after. So here we have seen JUnit is working on these annotations. If we talk about what is annotation, so annotation can be defined as a tag which gives the information about the order in which different methods need to be executed. So here these annotations tell JUnit in which order these methods need to be executed. Doesn't matter where you have placed these methods like if I cut this and place this before method at the bottom of the class. It's not going to make any difference because it is not ordering top to down. It is ordering by their annotation. So still it will search for the test annotation. Yes found. It will search for the before annotation. Yes. So it will execute before method, then test method and at the end after annotation method. I'm trying to execute it again. And here you can see before test and after. Now we have seen, we have already seen three annotations that is test before and after. If we talk about mandate annotation, which is test, if we talk about the order of searching of the annotation, so searching order is test, then before and then after. But if we talk about the order of execution, so before, test and after. Whatever the test case code we are going to have, we are going to write in this test method. Whatever the code we want to execute before the test case, we are going to write in the before. Code which we want to execute after the test case, we are going to write in the after.